hello friends today i will show you a java program which will uh, give number of words in a given file actually okay i am giving the file as in static way you can uh, change that by passing it uh, as a command line argument or something else like by using a uh, ga component okay but um, for this demo i am specifying the file content in a static way okay and uh, we will solve this by using string tokenizer class which is very powerful class it treats each word as a token and uh, it needs a delimiter to separate the words in a uh, in a file or a string okay it uh, takes an input called as a string for each string it will separate the words based on the delimiters if you can uh, if you can uh, give comma as a delimiter yes you it's your wish to apply the delimiters if my file is a csv it is obviously a comma operator as a delimiter so it will count each word okay there is no special functions i am using this uh, for counting i am simply using uh, a simple mechanism called uh, by taking a count variable and uh, increment that variable inside the loop let's start so i need a utility package to call string tokenizer and uh, used to have io package because uh, we operate with the uh, files okay let's start class my word count Public static void main string argument. I'm dealing with files, so it is a uh, mandatory in some classes to throw the exception. You can handle the exceptions by try catch mechanism inside the method, or you can directly throw the exception outside the main as a function or method to throwing exception actually and i am putting a parent exception here without worrying about the exception names okay i'm using buffered reader to open the file reader new file reader of because i want to read the file that's it i don't want to modify or something i want to read for reading you have file reader option right so use buffer reader to read because buffer buffer reader contains a method of for read line which returns a string okay now give the path okay uh, now i'm going to give this file it has a space separated values and comma separated values i want to give comma as a delimiter okay oh sorry this is our file present in this location I statically put this location path you can give dynamically by passing parameters i mean command line arguments okay um, file name is Clothing.txt. Okay. Now read this first line. Be order read line. Okay. In clothing.txt, this line is a string. So I am storing this information in a string. For that I am creating a string variable, string line. Okay. And I am creating a count variable count the number of words this program is counting number of words in a file ok br.readline 
so line is equal to b of dot red line as it length means it reads a line and uh, copies the same content on line so when the file reaches end means whenever we encounter null b of dot red line is null then the file is end so until it becomes null you have to loop through for every line okay b of dot read line gives the first line actually uh, in second iteration it will, will give the second line third line like that until it becomes null okay so i'm using a while loop while line is equal to b of dot read line that should not be equal to null if it is not null then use string tokenizer is equals to i am instantiate this and it has uh, different constructors i am using a constructor which takes uh, line as an argument and delimiter as another argument so my delimiter is comma okay and if this line contains different words so how do i notice that means while str dot has more tokens that means line contains uh, different words it will iterate until the words were finished okay if it is a word uh, for example uh, if this is the file first line consider this will be the first line of the file then it will start working from here public is treated as a word then st uh, it runs str dot has more tokens yes we have another word next uh, void yes we have another word main yes we have another word uh, those we have another word exception now it ends okay there is no other word so until that uh, uh, statement becomes false it will run str dot has more tokens uh, returns true a boolean value if there is a token or not okay if there is a token you can catch that token by using next token function okay next token method uh, if i use any variable here then i can catch that uh, word i don't want to catch that word actually i want to uh, iterate and find the number of tokens got it so i'm using count increment function str dot has more tokens itself says yes we have a token now count will increment to one next check for other token then it will iterate has more tokens is there any other tokens yes now count becomes two next check for other tokens has more more tokens yes okay so uh, if i give the same line so what happens means while str dot has more tokens returns true then count becomes one and str dot next token will return public actually okay next it iterates has more tokens now count becomes true and str dot next token will return static next it iterates and count becomes 3 st dot next tokens returns void and uh, next uh, has more tokens count becomes 4 and uh, st dot next token will uh, returns this entire thing and uh, count has more tokens is true count becomes 5 and st dot next token returns throws but i doesn't catch this data at all i am just iterating and counting the values that's it okay so finally after this while loop i simply print system dot out dot print ln total words count that's it what is the file name my word count to save same class name as the file name So I'm saving a Java program. My phone got Java. Okay. So in the Java C, 
paste it there the file name dot java there is the file actually e column java programs ok now i am going to run this my word count dot java yes compile successful now run this program word count total words 142 that's it thanks for watching